go. I'm going to show you two different ways of doing these, by the way. Okay. Need a gut bucket, please? Set it right down here. Now, you got the nice little semi fillets here. This is what I mean, two step process to flaying. The next one is, you just rip that right out. There you are. There's your nice little piece of meat. Now, when you go to cook these, what I do is I take this knife, a regular knife, especially on white bass. What I'll do is I'll lay the knife flat, this little piece of red meat right here, along the lateral line, I make a cut, just like this. Gets almost all that red meat off of there. Do another cut, just like this. Yeah, you're going to waste a little bit of meat, but you accomplish two things. This little piece of red meat right here tastes terrible. It's muddy, it's yucky. Get rid of it. The other thing is, these little pieces of fatty meat here along the lateral line, they, they will hold contaminants. That's the one thing we've learned. Okay. I gotta remember how to do this. Here we go. Go right through like this. Run your knife up the back along the ribs. Comes out right there. Okay. Now, using more of the uh, rounder part of the knife, this one isn't too round. Not necessarily the point like this, but the rounder part. Follow the ribs down. Just like that. The other side. I don't mind if I waste a little belly meat. I'll take these and skin these critters. We're working out in the driveway. The driveway's kind of sloped down here. It works kind of nice because everything just slides right down. So we can keep a fairly clean workspace. After cleaning, we've got to do something with the guts. Now in my case, I have a garden right here. What I've done, between the rows, not in the rows, this ain't planted yet, but between the rows, dig a trench. We're just gonna lay these things in there and cover them up, leave it covered fairly loose. We're just gonna mound it up. Actually, nothing will really bother them that much. But the key is, do not put them under your plants. It'll cause a hollow spot. I don't care what you read in school about planting some corn, you know, three little seeds and planting the fish with it. Don't do it that way. Plant the stuff between the rows. I'm just going to dump it in there, then we'll cover it up. <laughs> 